my name is Aaliyah. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're not new, welcome back. So today, as you can tell, is a little bit different from my other video just because I'm standing up. I'm going to be doing like a talk through type of try on. Just wanted to try something different and I feel like it'll be a little bit more in the moment. You know, you get my true reaction from things and I feel like I like that so much more. Recently, I've been watching videos like that myself so I thought I would give it a try and Hello, my hair is red if you haven't seen my other videos, if you're just checking in, or if you are new here, like I said, this is a new look for me. So I've been kind of playing off of this hair, experimenting with different looks. So that's why this video is going to be pretty much me switching up my style for my more edgier type of vibes. I basically like to dress based off my mood. So when I feel edgy, I dress edgy. When I feel girly, chic, all that, whatever, that's what I decide to put on myself. So like I said, this video is going to be pretty much all the new edgy heat that I've been picking up. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So enough rambling. Let's get on into the video. By the way, my mic is across the room. So I really hope that it's picking up my audio well. <sighs> Trying out new things. A very, very uncomfortable situation. But you got to step out the box to reach your full potential, am I right? So the first thing that I have to show you guys is this sweater dress right here. I got this one from Pretty Little Thing. I feel like it's super cute. I got it oversized um, just because I didn't want it to be too short. Like I have hips and I have thighs. So sometimes things tend to be a little shorter on me even though I do have shorter legs. And I also got these boots, you guys, to go with it i am obsessed with these boots i feel like they're so rad they may not be rad to everyone but to me honey they are they're what's popping so this is what they look like i kind of wish i could like stand back it's so hard based off my setup but i'm gonna try to think of a way to show these shoes to you i think i'm gonna do a little bit of shoe cam and i'm gonna like switch up the way the camera is or whatever but yeah so this can be worn like this or actually no i know exactly what i'm gonna do that worked enough yeah that definitely worked enough all right so this is what the boots look like they're still like new so they sound a little like plasticky and weird when i'm walking in them which is so awkward but that's fine because i know it's gonna wear off but yeah i love them i love the height that they give me i like the heel of it like the sole it's pretty much giving me Prada vibes but I like these more <sighs> don't shoot me but I like them more just because I don't like that little plasticky bag or whatever the nylon bag that comes on the side and also I do have some biker shorts under this so this dress can be worn many different ways as you can see you could also wear them with biker shorts have them peeking through a little bit like that and kind of just tuck it into something I don't know if I would tuck them into this Actually, maybe I would. Yeah, you could tuck it into some biker shorts like this and wear it, or you can wear it down and just have it like kind of hanging over and let the biker shorts kind of peek through. It's really up to you. Um, but yeah, and then this necklace that I got is actually from Dolls Kill. I really, really like it. I feel like it's so, so cute. And I like, I like the fact that it has this little design on it also it's like flames and then the rest of it is pretty much just the lock if i'm looking to the side it's because my monitor is there so yeah i don't want to break the eye contact you know let's keep a connection there but yeah i'm really in love with this and i think i'm going to show you guys the next bits of necklaces that i got from dolls kill i'll try to link whatever i can down below so the next necklace that I got is this one right here. This is like a ball chain type of thing. I got some bracelets like this a long time ago from H&M and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. I didn't even know what to call it. Like I had to look up. Actually, I didn't have to look it up because I found this. And once I found this, I was like, okay, what does the description say for that? And then I found it everywhere else. So if these are not available on Dolls Kill or if you're just looking and you want to see if you can find something for a little cheaper, I definitely know Amazon has these as well, like the ball chain necklaces. So if you're into that type of vibe or I feel like this will look cute with a really chic outfit too. Doesn't even necessarily have to be just edgy. 
you know so i feel like a lot of these accessories that i picked up can go well with many different styles which duh i dress in many different styles so that would be ideal right so yeah i really love this i think it's cute and cannot wait to wear it okay so the next necklace that i got is this one here it has safety pins and it also has a dice with the same ball chain um chain so yeah i think it's super cute super cute super edgy once again like i said that's the whole theme of this video so that's that so i'm gonna admit that this video is kind of gonna be all over the place because i do want to show you like how i would wear this with like outerwear and like an accessory so the next thing that i'm going to show you is actually from amazon and then i'll get into the um dolls kill outfits so this piece you guys that i found on amazon i'm not gonna lie but i'm the goat i'm the amazon goat let me tell you why i've been looking for a leather jacket like a genuine leather jacket i know people have their like things their discrepancies about like leather and stuff like that but there's just certain things that i feel like like fur for instance fur they literally kill animals for the fur but i have read somewhere that leather depending on where you get it from or what company it is and what grade of leather it is they don't just kill the animal for the leather most of the time it's like scraps used from like food like when they kill animals for food so and I'm pretty sure this jacket falls under that because it's not like lambskin or anything like that. So, like I said, I've been looking for a genuine leather jacket that wasn't going to run me like 700 bucks. And I found one. I found a motorcycle style leather jacket on Amazon, you guys, for the low. Only $150 and it's the perfect fit. Enough talking. Let me just show you guys what it is because I'm so excited. Bam. You guys, look at this look at this jacket it is so heavy it comes with one of those inserts that you can like zip into it but i took it out just because i wanted it to be a little bit looser um i got this one in a size extra large and right now i am on a weight loss journey been working out a lot and i've been eating so healthy so even when i lose weight i feel like this will still fit really cute because it'll be oversized Right now, it's kind of giving oversized, but also giving fitted, which I do not mind either one. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. Just look at how cute this jacket is. I'm like absolutely obsessed. And I would totally wear this all together with a bag, probably like this. This one I got from Ego Official, by the way. I'll have it linked below just because it's like a little mini insert of something that I've been picking up. But yeah, I feel like this is so cute and I feel like it's girly and edgy at the same time. So it won't look like too, like, you know, like if you're not somebody who's used to wearing like edgy outfits or whatever, or if you're like a little scared to dive into certain things, I feel like an outfit like this is a good way to start because it's super simple. It's like just a throw over one piece type of thing. You throw on some edgy accessories and then you're good to go, you know, especially if they're high quality. Like I feel like when I'm trying to go for edgy things, I want them to be more high quality or they don't even have to necessarily be edgy. They can be like staples that make an outfit edgy, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I just don't even want to take this off because this is just so cute. Like, oh my gosh, I wish I had some more to go. But yeah, time to show you the stuff from Dolls Kill. All right, guys, so this is the next bit of stuff that I picked up. Not going to lie, I'm kind of bummed out because the skirt is too small. Like, it just doesn't fit. And it pisses me off because, I don't know, I feel like I should have got a bigger size. I don't even know if they had a bigger size. This is a size large, and I would obviously need an extra large. I don't know. Things are just so weird, you know, when you gain weight, you gotta try to figure it out. But it's fine because guess what? I found a pleated skirt on Amazon. So give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see my fashion finds from Amazon. Because as you just saw, that jacket, that jacket is fire. And hello, I found it on Amazon, like I said. There's another little thing I'll show you guys that I found on Amazon. And I got a lot of DMs on my page after I was showing my nails on Instagram about this ring. This ring is also fire. Got it from Amazon. So I'm really the Amazon GOAT, you guys. I'm just, I'm claiming it. But anyways, I really like the sweater. Sweater fits me exactly like how I wanted to. You guys see the vision for how I was trying to go 
like you could wear this with like sneakers if you want you could wear this with like boots heels whatever it's really up to you but as you can see the skirt in the back is just not cutting it you guys and it does come with shorts as you can see but it's just too short like ew like it's not even zipped up all the way you guys look not even zipped up all the way you know <sighs> that bums me out but it's fine it's fine it's gonna be all right but when I do get the one from Amazon, be ready, be ready. If you follow me on Instagram, you're going to see me post that photo because I'm about to start getting up on my ish when it comes to Instagram. I'm about to start posting more photos, so just wait and see. But yeah, I really like this sweater. The sweater fits nice. And as you can see, the back has really nice graphics too. I'm gonna have to make sure my thing is pulled down. But yeah, so basically the back says like freaks come out at night. And I thought that was so cute. I just like how it's simple in the front. And then there's a party in the back. That's just, you can't go wrong with that. So yeah, this was pretty much the outfit that I had in mind. I was going to layer it with a few more chokers or whatever. But you can also wear this sweater with like pants. I picked up a few leather pants recently. Um, actually, you know what? I can add those pants into this haul because I'm not going to put them in any of the videos. So just wait one second. Y'all about to see. You guys are going to spit up. All right, you guys. So these are the leather pants. I picked these up from House of CB. They need to be tailored, as you can see in the reflection here. They're a little too long for me, but the fit other than that is perfect. I think the waist fits me perfectly. So funny. This is like an impromptu like addition to the, the whole haul. But yeah, this is what they look like from the back. These are a size large. Um, like I said, when I lose weight, look, I'm just going to buy another one of these in a medium because I like these pants so much. The quality on them is amazing. And I like the little line detail that's right here. I feel like it's so cute. And once I get it like tailored, this outfit's going to look really, really cute. Um, something like this, you can wear it with a pair of ones. You can wear it with heels. You could do whatever you want. You could wear it with boots. So yeah, like I said, my style switches up quite frequently and I really did get this sweater so it can be oversized like this so it can just hang kind of like that and then I would wear it with like either a flat shoe or a high shoe like I said so yeah all right so I like the graphics so much on the sweater that I decided to pick up the top as well um a short sleeve I got this one in a large though just because I didn't want it to be too oversized I'm loaded right now so excuse me guys you can totally see that through these jeans but I also got these from ASOS these jeans actually this is how they fit it's really cute they're like a wax um, denim so yeah they're pretty short as you can see so if you're a little taller you might want to pick these up just to wear them with boots or something I'm gonna show you guys what this outfit would look like if I was wearing boots and I'm also gonna show you my last outerwear piece on top of it Oh my gosh, I am so out of breath. Trying on these clothes and trying to talk is not easy. Why didn't somebody tell me? Oh my gosh. What the outfit looks like with the boots on, you could kind of get a picture of it in the reflection. This is what it looks like. If it's not too cold out, you can throw on a flannel like this and just put a scarf on on top of it or whatever. Um, I wanted to wear a red flannel just to kind of play off the red. And then if it is cold, this is the next bit of outerwear that I picked up from a brand called Avec Les Filles with the girls, I think, or for the girls. I think it's with the girls, I don't know. I think it's with the girls. <laughs> um, But yeah, this is a jacket that I got. It's kind of more oversized than I wanted it to be, but it's like, what are you gonna do? Plus I feel like it'll work for if I wanted to like layer like in this type of situation. Then I would most likely throw a scarf over it or something like that. Then I'll probably hold my bag like this or hold a different bag just because it can't fit over this. Okay, you guys want to know what the struggle is when it comes to being a little bit thick and trying to try on clothes. I broke one of my nails in the weirdest way trying to try on these pants. So, so you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you did enjoy it, please let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. I will be posting a lot more fashion content as I see that it's getting the most views on my channel and I gotta do what the people want, you feel me? So yeah, um, 
Also, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to plop it right here. It is the same as it is here, Ali Elise TV. And then we can connect. You can DM me, all that. Let's become a family. And as usual, I'm sending so much love your way, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.